On 27 September 2019, I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, a type of blood cancer. Death was staring at me. My main concern at that moment was about separation from my wife and my children. I felt very sad. Then I remembered King Hezekiah's prayer. Hence, like Hezekiah, I also pleaded with God for his mercy. I asked for forgiveness for my sins. I asked God to grant me a few more years so I could at least see my children grow up. After a struggle, God somehow did give me his assurance and I felt God's peace. I thank God for two things that happened. Firstly, God somehow connected us with a number of friends and relatives with cancer in the past few years. I've prayed for them. I've claimed the healing verses for them. And I have witnessed how God had been faithful in their lives. Secondly, I just returned from the Malam Pentecostal rally in Kuching. That experience really increased my faith when I experienced how our sovereign God was in Kuching. These experiences helped me strengthen my belief in God and I was assured that He's more than able to help me face the challenges ahead. Of course, it was not all smooth sailing. My physical condition began to deteriorate soon after the diagnosis. I was started on chemotherapy and I had to deal with the side effects of the medications as well. My red blood counts were low and that caused me to be extremely tired. At one point, I was very breathless even when I was not doing anything at rest. Every breath needed a conscious effort. My heartbeat was very fast to compensate for the lack of red cells. I could feel my heart pounding away just to stay alive. Besides those symptoms, I also had severe acid reflux, muscle weakness, nerve pain and even bowel problems and it all added up to the misery. There were times I could only lay down, looking up to God and ask Him for help. Jesus, please help me! was my cry. There were days that I really cried. There were days I almost gave up. It was tough. God provided people around me to support me in my darkest hours. It really encouraged me and lifted my spirit. Yes, not every time after praying, my pain disappeared immediately, but God's presence comforted me. Though I did not fully understood why I had to endure such physical suffering then, I knew deep down God did not forsake me and He never will. For multiple myeloma, after going through the first four cycles of chemotherapy, I had to undergo bone marrow transplant, a procedure that would wipe out my entire bone marrow cells. During a bone marrow transplant, there would be days when I would have no immune cells to defend myself. That was a real test for me to trust God. I had to surrender, to give up my defenses and trust in Him and Him alone. So I started my transplant on 15 January 2020. My white cells gradually dropped as expected and a few days later, my white cell count was zero. My red blood cells and platelets started to drop as well. There was some bleeding and bruising, but thank God it wasn't serious. Every morning, I would have my blood taken and would hope that the blood counts would improve. But I was disappointed when it was still zero. And it went on for days, which seems like eternity to me. During those vulnerable days, most transplant patients would have some fever or signs of infection. But for me, I thank God for his protection. I did not have any fever. It was really like what the psalmist said. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he is with me. Never had those words been so real to me. After three weeks, my blood counts slowly improved and I was able to go home. I was so happy and really thank God. It was a huge hurdle I conquered with God. 
Throughout this eventful journey, I learned two things. One was that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I could ask or think according to His power which is at work in me. I learned to trust in God. When I was waiting for my genetic test which was to determine my prognosis, God reminded me to just trust Him. He will take me through it all. Well, thank God. When the results finally came, it was favourable. The other thing I learned was to praise and worship Him despite my circumstance. I chose to continue to thank God for His goodness. God challenged my wife and myself whether we can still praise Him and be thankful even when I was struck down with cancer. Yes, I believe God is good and God is good all the time. My circumstance did not determine God's goodness, but God's goodness determined the good outcome of my circumstance. There's so much I am thankful for. I truly believe there's so much to praise God for in every circumstance. I have now recovered from my transplant and completed all my chemotherapy. The journey I experienced through this battle with multiple myeloma will be unforgettable. It was not just about healing and getting healed, but how God was so real to me, so near me, was with me, delivered me, protected me, comforted me, strengthened me, gave me hope to carry on, and the assuring love He showed me throughout was enough for me. I've heard about God's faithfulness, I've read about His faithfulness, and now I have seen and experienced His faithfulness in my life.